Hey guys, it's Anthony Pietroboni here. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna go over the midweek market update. It's Wednesday morning pre-market. And what we're gonna do is take a look at where we think the market's gonna go in the coming days and weeks. If you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, you're gonna to wanna to hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES futures and NASDAQ futures. I have a swing trade account and a day trade account. But in this video, we're gonna take a look at the overall market structure. So every time we've had a sell-off, we've come back to a fib retracement before pulling back lower. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. This is why I personally believe that we're gonna get a significant bounce before we really start coming down lower towards that 3,800 area. The reason why I think that is because if you take a look at the August high, you see that we started selling off and then we, had, we bottomed at the, near the end of August and then had a rally to come up into this fair value gap. So I drew some rectangles, they're fair value gaps. All I'm doing is I'm drawing a rectangle from the low of a previous red candle to the high of another one and where there's a, a, a void of trading. There's no there's no trading volume here, and price typically tends to pull back into that before continuing in the direction it wants to go. What happened on August is we sold off and we bounced back, we filled that area and then continued lower. And here's another one at the end of August, we sold off and we trade back into it before continuing lower. In December, we had the same idea here where we sold off, we based, and then we eventually got back into it, but the first one didn't really get hit until the lows were made. So the second one here is a, is a tight one that we we came down, we trade up into it, and then we trade lower. So all I'm gonna do is draw a fib retracement. So from the high in the August sell off down to the low, we retraced about 50% before continuing lower. So if you take a look, you see the first fairy value gap that we created uh, mid-February. That one has not been hit. And then there's a second one here near the end of February which has not hit, been hit yet, but from recent patterns, the first one could be missed and the second one gets hit before we continue lower. So the second one here is about from 40.35 to 40.55. So 40.35 to 40.55, we cr could trade back in that area before continuing much lower. Take a look at that from a FIB retracement from the sell-off to current lows. That would personally be about to 38.2 possibly up to 50%. If we go to the 50%, then that'd be about 40, 70. I personally believe that we're actually gonna trade up into that 40, 40 to 40, 50 area before getting to my eventual target being that 3,800 area. That's just what I personally believe because that's typically what happens with sell-offs is we get a significant bounce to stop out shorts before we trade lower. So that's just what I'm looking at for the current market. We did see the dollar actually sell off overnight and this allows the, the market to trade a little higher. So I have an alert set here. If we break the highs, then um, that's when we'll start dumping a lot more because the dollar, dollar goes up, stocks go down. So right now uh, we sold off overnight and this could actually take off some selling pressure and we could continue higher on the S&P 500. We're now seeing a positive divergence with HYG and as HYG goes up, we can actually see SPX that has been going down. So if you see my, my line is from the bottom to the top, those are the same days as S SPX. So SPX has been going down, as you can see, since Tuesday the 21st, where HYG has actually been going up. And when we have those discrepancies, <clears throat> a reversal tends to happen in the market. And UVXY and VIX has been selling off. So all these things kind of combined points to a bounce. But remember, I'm looking for that 3,800 level. I personally think it's gonna be hit in March. We are in the first day of March, so I just believe we're gonna get a relief bounce before we come down to the 3800 level in the coming weeks. That's it for this market update. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Look out for the video that's coming out Sunday at 12 p.m. And I'm gonna go over my trades this past week. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.